But you know what, we are going to start with this uh, continuing fallout to the whole Kurt Zuma controversy, shall we say, after one of West Ham's commercial partners announced that they were now considering their relationship with West Ham. Yeah, this follows David Moyes' decision to play the defender in the win against Watford. Despite a police investigation into video footage of Zuma slapping and kicking his cat. Yeah, Moyes justified the selection, though, by saying that he is one of the club's better players. So, despite West Ham condemning Zuma for the incident, the defender kept his place in the starting 11, although he was uh, booed throughout the night when he had the ball. I'm really disappointed. And uh, the club have taken all the actions that they, they can do at the moment, and they're, they're you know, working on that behind the scenes. My job is to try and pick a team and pick the best team, which gives me the best chance at West Ham, and uh, Kirk was part of that team. Do you, do you feel that at any point a moral decision comes into making that team as well, mate? For, for me, yeah, because I'm a, a big animal lover, and I, uh, you know, and I, I think it's something which will have affected a lot of people, so I'm really disappointed with it. But. As I said before, my job tonight was to try and win for West Ham and put the best team out I could to give me that chance. I completely was really disappointed with what I saw and what, what I was told. There'll be people who are all disappointed with that and I, I understand that totally. The club are dealing with it, as you well know. Uh, I've already spoken to them and uh, we will mo we'll move on as much as we can. We wanted to try and Get get this game out of the way, and we understand that uh, you know it's not something which everybody's uh, pleased about. In fact, nobody will be pleased about it. It's a it's a really poor situation. So Zuma played the entire game, and that was a decision which has been criticised by one of their commercial partners uh, of West Ham, Experience Kissimmee which is the club's official destination partner, said this. It was disheartening to learn that the player Kurt Zuma was part of the starting lineup in West Ham United's game tonight. As we wait for further information from West Ham, we will be evaluating our relationship and sponsorship with the club. I didn't expect him not to play because I know he's one of their, their, their star players. And if something has happened in his private life, which is now causing some sort of controversy, that will be for him and the club to, to, to deal with. But I, I don't have a strong opinion about it because, to be frank, I haven't followed the story to any great extent as yet. I've been preparing for the match all day. I've been preparing football. So this is a story that's transcended sport. Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, was asked about Kurt Zuma on Sky News this morning. It's despicable. I think a, a number of things need to happen urgently. I think the RSPCA and the police need to work together to prosecute this Player. I'm disappointed in David Moyes and West Ham, actually. I, I know how important three points are, I support a club as well, but I think they should have shown leadership and dropped him uh, last night. And I worry when young people see Premier League footballers getting away with bad behaviour or Prime Ministers or anybody else, it thinks it's OK and you can be successful. That's why it's really important for leaders and role models, and whether you're a footballer or the mayor or, you know, journalists, uh, we're role models and uh, we should lead by example. Well, the upsetting footage emerged from his brother's social media, uh, who's thought to have filmed it. And now, Johan Zuma, who plays for Dagenham and Redbridge, has also made a public apology. This is what he has said. I deeply regret my involvement in the video that has been widely circulated and unreservedly apologise, not only for my actions, but for the upset and distress this will have caused to so many people. He says, I am now taking time to reflect on what I've done, but wish to assure everyone that this was an isolated incident and not something that I am proud of. Um, as for his club, they have written, Dagenham and Redbridge FC condemn the actions of our player Johan Zuma in filming the video that is circulated of his brother and his reactions to the events shown. Well, since the first becoming aware of the incident, they say, this morning the club has had discussions with Johan and we will now take some time to consider our response, which we will, of course, make public in due course. However, they say, in the meantime, we'd like to make it completely clear that we in no way condone any form of cruelty towards animals and take this matter very seriously. Yeah, so that statement then from Dagnum and Redbridge, um, the club who... Um, Kurt Zuma's brother, Johan Zuma, plays for. 